what could be your source for understanding Gandhian ideas at this time? Gandhiji's own writings, the journals he brought out, or any of the leaders, or any in your group, who would be the articulator of Gandhian ideas for you? Well, there was uh, uh, one of the members who was a professor, who was a philosophy chap, Bishan Sahai at that time. Mm -hmm. He gave a talk. Mm. I did no reading of Gandhi no. okay. during that period. None whatsoever. Mm. But we had got into this violent uh, mm. phase or something. Mm. The closest I came to be taken out of this changers thing and others was uh, Devdas Gandhi sent for me one day and said, you know, Bapu is going on this indefinite fast. I want that information to be given to prisoners, Delhi political prisoners, who are taken to Multan. But no communication was allowed. They were not allowed to write and nobody could give. But he said, I want them to know and if possible, they should resort to a one day uh, token fast in support. This is when Gandhiji is in jail at the Aga Khan Palace. Yes. yes. And he's going to go on that fast. That. Mm, 21 day fast. That. I right. think it was January 43. 43. Yes. Right. Something like mm. So he said in Multan, mm. he said very far away. I said, yes, I'll go. But I said, is there a contact you can give me? Because I don't know anybody. I've never traveled on my own. Punjab. So he said, uh, there's one Keval Krishnan who is the Congress leader there. He's an advocate. But I'm not sure whether he has not been arrested also. That's the only name I can give you. You have to find it all for yourself. So I got into the train and I must say my grandfather, uh, my father was already in jail, my grandfather did not uh, discourage me. Or he didn't make one negative comment to say, Aap kaise but he only said, Dhyan se jana. Because they all had that fear that you may be arrested mm. and somebody finds out your mission. So I set out. Mm. It was about 50 hour journey. Mm. First uh, 35, 40 hours. The train went on, I went on. But as Multan came nearer, I got apprehensive and fearful. The train stops, I come out, where do I go? Mm. I can't go to the jail and say I want to give a message. And, and I was afraid of talking to anybody. There was a policeman also in the compartment. But I decided that I had to take an initiative. Mm. So at one station, I got out to drink water or tea or something. There was a young man from my compartment, he also came. So I joined him while we were having tea. I told him I have to have a private talk with you if I know where you are going. Mm. He said, he's going to Multan. Mm. I said, that's wonderful. He said, what is it? I said, I'm afraid of saying that because it's supposed to be very confident. He said, don't worry, tell me. Is it political? Mm. I said, yes. Mm. Then I decided to take him into confidence wholeheartedly. Mm. I said, this is the mission. I didn't tell that Devdas Gandhi sent me. I've been sent on this mission. I have to contact, my father is also there. This message has to be given to them. He said, don't worry, when we reach Multan, you come with me to the house. So I trusted and he took a tonga and we went to his house. 
It was hardly a little one-room tenement. And his mother was there. So we said pranam to her. And she said, I have kept hot water for you to have a bath. You have come from long distance, both of you. Because she didn't know I was coming. He mm -hmm. told her, I am a friend who has come. And she said, I will cook meanwhile. So this boy told me, I will slip out. You have a bath. I will go and look for Keval Krishna and establish a contact. So he went, he found the office, the legal office. There was a clerk there or somebody who said that all the prisoners in the Multan jail have been taken to the railway station. They are being transferred to Firozpur jail. So the jail is empty. So he rushed back to tell me this will happen. Mm. So I said, if there is this prison train, I must rush back to the station. But the mother said, I am cooking the food and all. So I fell at her feet. Mm. And this boy also said, Amma, he has come for a particular thing. Mm. And uh, so we must not stop him. But he said, I'll come with you. Mm. How he got so so he took me back to the station. He said, you don't talk because you don't speak local language. The people will wonder what you are looking for. So he found out the prison was, the train was there, prisoners were there. It was standing on a particular platform. Mm. And it was to be attached to another train with which it will go. Mm. So I said, you have learned enough. You get me a piece of paper and pencil from the stall railway, which he did. And in that, I wrote out my message. Brief, Gandhiji. I kept it in my book. This boy then left. Then I found out that the other side, there's one where people come and enter, but the back side. So I noticed that. So I took a walk there mm. to see exactly what the scene is. Mm. And you wouldn't believe it, in one window, mm. I saw my father. <sighs> my heart started palpitating. <laughs> so I quickly took some few steps back. Uh, and then came closer to the train uh, and in that window near this piece of paper that I had and the pencil, I pushed it in his hand. He didn't know who, how, what happened. Uh -huh. But I had written the name Santosh. Uh -huh. So he at once understood uh -huh. that uh, it's this, you. It's, it's me. And then I walked back a little away from the train and he showed the paper saying he got it motion, come back after a time. Well, mm -hmm. So that news was shared by him with all the mm -hmm. people. The main message Gandhiji. Mm -hmm. Then on that paper everybody wanted to write one line for their family. <laughs> and said, Pulchand usko dena ab le jayega, humare ghar mein batata hai. So that was a lot of excitement. Mm -hmm. So when I went past, he pushed one paper in my hand and said, more paper is required, everybody wants to write something. Mm -hmm. So I went back, I bought some more paper, I gave it. He said, now run away. Police has become suspicious. The, why are the prisoners so excited? What mm. is happening? Mm. He said, don't come back. Mm. You just run away. So I couldn't go back again. I came, sat near the 
book stalls and all that there. And the train came, we were joined with the wind, and the train moved. But the fear that police had become suspicious, I thought they may start searching. Mm. So anyhow, I got into one compartment and it moved. When the train had moved a little out of Multan, it was pretty dark by that time. It stopped at a small station where they show journey. I stepped out and decided not to get back into the train mm. because I was carrying the messages. Mm. But my main thing, Devdas Gandhi's message has been given. Yes. Then I got message for the family. So I, I said, don't try anything more. <coughs> and the train left, I stood there. And this man who was doing the jhandi, uh -huh. he, he didn't disturb his, because he had to get the train going. Uh -huh. After that, he said, train to nikal gaya? I said, chacha, wo, main socha tha yaha pani piyunga, utra, aur gari nikal gai. Ab next gari kab aegi? I There was no bench or anything, just a platform. I said, I sleep here tomorrow. So he wound up and with his lantern he went away. After a few minutes he came back. He said, Beta, yahan kaise so sakte? To bilkul sunsan jage hai. To aap me quarter me chalo. So he took me to his quarter. And his wife first said, Has he eaten anything? Mm -hmm. They didn't ask me any question who I am, why I have come, what was that. That I am a person who got out and missed the connection. She said, Ek roti to khalo. And I don't know, whatever arrangement there was, it was all, they were sleeping on the floor. In one corner, I also slept. And next day, I remember, when the train came, this man came and put me back in the train. Because it stops for a few seconds, he bolded me. And lo and behold, I came back and rushed to Hindustan Times to report to Devdas Gandhi, the mission accomplished. Mm. But when I entered, there were posters with black border that Gandhi was dead. I, my heart started palpitating, what happened? So I rushed in. So Devdas Bhai said, sit down. Nothing has happened. I said, I saw those posters. She said, you see, we are a newspaper. His condition is very critical. If something happens, we have to give the news. I said, but Devdas, why, how could you do that? He said, remember, he's my father. I shouldn't be doing it, but I'm also the editor of this paper. I have a responsibility. But the good thing for you is, nothing has happened to you at the moment. It was a terrible shock, mm -hmm. but that's the reality. 